discussing what it's like owning a GSP. From our experience, we have a eight month old German short haired pointer named Tundra. So we aren't seasoned GSP owners, but we do have a bit of experience. And with that, we're gonna share you what it's like owning one. Starting off with the first question, how much energy does the GSP have and how much exercise do they need? So we, our GSP is only eight months old, so we don't have a full grasp of how much a, an adult GSP needs, <laughs> needs as far as exercise and mental stimulation, but it is generally a lot. I would compare a GSP to a Malinois. Their energy level is similar. They both need a ton of mental stimulation and physical exercise. So on a realistic day-to-day -day basis, this is what we do with our eight-month-old uh, GSP. In the morning, we'll take her on a, uh, a hike up in back of our house. We'll take her on a hike around three or four miles. And we also let her go off leash so that she can go and do her sprints up and down the hills like she likes to do and do her zoomies. And she goes and sniffs everything and sometimes she goes and chases the birds and she chases the rabbits and she gets all of her energy like completely out. We get her super exhausted. And then also in the afternoon, maybe like seven, eight hours later, we also like to take her to the dog park and she'll take out all of her energy by socializing with her friends and like playing usually 30 to 45 minutes. Or if we can't go to the dog park, then we'll be at home and we do some type of exercise with the toy where we make sure that it increases her heart rate and where she's like panting for at least 30 minutes. Like we get her really, really, really tired. So that's physical activity on a daily basis for a pup her age. When they become adults, they're gonna need more than that. Now, mental stimulation, one of our favorite things to do and one of Tundra's favorite things to do is hide treats and look for them. So we utilize the entire house and the backyard. We'll hide some treats and make her search for them. And we don't do like, we will do some of them easy, but what we really like to do is put them in really hard places so that she's like really, really working herself to uh, find these treats. Sometimes she'll take like half an hour and she still hasn't found the treat. So this is how we like to exhaust her mentally. Also, a must is every single day we are doing training, whether it's recall, sit, stay, leave it, uh, come. We don't do any kind of fancy tricks or anything like that. We just do the basics and we work on this consistently every day. So for example, we might do like five minute increments of three. So like three times a day, we'll do five minutes of training. And what we notice is after we do training, she usually like takes a nap afterwards. She usually gets really exhausted. Also, if you're taking your dog out for hikes, um, you know, they're going to like a new area where there's new scents. This is also good mental stimulation for them. GSPs are known to be very intelligent. So a lot of people assume that just because they're really, really intelligent, then they're gonna be easy to train. So generally from what I have heard from other GSP owners, and from our own experience, it was very hard to train Tundra. Although she was so smart and like caught on to things really quickly, she was also at the same time super stubborn. So for example, like if she felt there's no need for us, like there's no need for her to sit or stay, like she couldn't find any reason why they told me to sit and stay, she just won't do it. Also, GSPs are known to be very easily distracted. This is more so in our experience when they're young. When Tundra was really, really young, she was way more distracted. Now that she's about eight months, she's a little bit more clear headed and able to focus. But especially when working on recall, it was the hardest thing to train her on because if we were out in public and she got distracted by just a leaf blowing or a rock or a butterfly, literally a butterfly, 
she would, her attention span would just go whoop and she would just forget what we were saying. So recall was very, very, very hard to work on. But like I said, when she was younger, it was worse. And as she got older, it's been getting better for her. She's just a lot more level headed and she's able to concentrate and focus a lot better. Also, we noticed that now she's looking at us for direction. So for example, when we're out in the hills and she's off leash, off leash, she will look back at us for direction and she'll focus her attention on us, which is wonderful because that's indicating that she's not as um, impulsive. Also, I wanna add that there are some GSPs out there that are very, very young and they listen consistently to the direction very well, but you may notice that a lot of them use e-collars and a lot of hunters use e-collars on their GSPs. So because we chose not to use an e-collar when training Tundra, our progress has been a lot slower and we've had to be very, very consistent, which is totally fine, but just, just know that it, it may take longer for you to see results in your pup if you're not using an e-collar like us. Uh, but it is super satisfying to look back at when we st first started training her at two months till now to look at all of the progress that she has accomplished. Also, I wanna point out if you've never had a pup, there, had, there were so many ups and downs because sometimes it was like she learned something and she would be do consistently so well for days and then all of a sudden it was like she forgot completely what she learned. And it was just a lot of ups and downs, but at the end of the day, she has been progressing really, really well and we're really proud of her. GSPs are known to be Velcro dogs, which means that they're super clingy and they're also very vocal dogs, very needy dogs. And this goes on to their full adulthood. They're always going to be very needy and very, they just, they want to be near their humans. And they can't be left alone in the house for too long. And this is only because they need physical and mental stimulation so often. So if you are going to plan on leaving your dog for eight plus hours or even six plus hours alone at home, this is probably not the dog for you. It's definitely not going to be happy. Even in a yard, even if you have a yard space and you leave your GSP there for eight hours, it's absolutely not gonna be happy because it needs mental stimulation. Also, I've heard of GSPs jumping high, uh, high walls just to escape their yards when their owners are gone because they miss them or they're bored. So what I'm saying is that if you plan on leaving your dog alone for an extended period of time, the GSP is probably not for you. It's not going to be living a happy life. Also, they are going to develop bad behavior because they're so bored for such a long period of time and they can become very destructive. I would say overall GSPs are wonderful family dogs as long as you have the time and the energy to commit to them. Also GSPs tend to be very rebunctious and very jumpy and super playful. Sometimes they can even play really rough without even knowing it. So I would say this, if you have smaller kids, keep in mind, if you're bringing a GSP home, it's gonna jump on your kids, okay? And um, in our experience, I have a nine-year-old niece who comes over. She's able to play perfectly fine with Tundra. Also, GSPs are very loving, very affectionate, very sweet with children. Tundra loves children more than anybody. Like, she absolutely goes crazy for that child energy. And what's funny is that she's not super affectionate with adults, but when it comes to children, she's very loving, very affectionate, wants to cuddle, and just, she's very great around kids. So we have been taking Tundra to the dog park to socialize since uh, she got all of her shots when she was young. She is very friendly, very outgoing, loves to play with all the dogs, does great. We see a few other GSPs there that they mostly just like to, play ball or just concentrate on playing with their owner, which I feel like is very common with GSPs. They like to just do games with their owners and not really socialize with other dogs, which is fine. Tundra, at this age, for some reason, she still likes to socialize. Um, we do notice that she has a very high prey drive, obviously, because she's a hunting dog um, by nature. 
So we avoid small dogs because she can sometimes get uh, played too, too rough. Yes, they are very healthy. Uh, one thing that is commonly looked out for is bloat. Bloat is a digestive tract issue and basically the rule of thumb is no physical activity one hour before and after feeding. Some people even do two hours before and two hours after feeding no activity. Uh, some people even use uh, slow feeders so that uh, the dogs don't eat too fast and this prevents bloating. Other than that, another really small issue is that she gets dander very um, frequently. Other owners have suggested to us to use like omega-3 supplements and so that's what we're doing so far. Okay, so next we have toys, which might not seem like an important topic, but GSPs are very specific with their toys because they are aggressive chewers. So in our home, we don't have any kind of fluffy type of uh, pet toy or anything that's stuffed with anything. None of those soft um, cotton type toys. We don't have any of that. In fact, we only use two brands. We use Benabone and we use Kong. So here's some examples of some Kong toys that are for super aggressive chewers like Tundra. And um, basically, the reason why we use these, and also these are Benabone. We use Benabone too. These are very uh, for aggressive chewers. The reason why we use these is because she's not able to rip off pieces of the plastic and eat them because it can cause obstruction in their intestines and it can lead to, to death. So um, it can lead to a lot of issues. I would avoid any kind of fluffy type of stuff, not only because they destroy them quickly, but because they destroy them and then they eat them and it causes digestive issues. So I would really stick to um, these kind of hard toys. So on our channel, we've, reached, we've uh, received a lot of criticism and I know that there's a lot of controversy whether GSPs are happy only if they're hunting dogs. Okay, so we ourselves do not hunt and we know many other people on social media who have GSPs who do not hunt and the dogs live happy and very fulfilling lives even though they don't hunt. I think the main uh, the key point here though is that if your GSP is not hunting, they need to do something else that is going to fulfill their exercise and mental stimulation needs because that's exactly what hunting does. It fulfills their exercise needs and it fills their mental stimulation. So like I said, we've already discussed what we do for mental stimulation and we've already discussed what we do for physical exercise. Keep in mind, Tundra is eight months old. As she gets older, we're gonna do a lot more to add on to that to fulfill her needs and so that she can be happy. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I hope this was helpful for you all. Until next time.